Good morning, everyone! I am Mylene Asus, one of the reporters of Group 5. For today's discussion, we will tackle about lesson number 2, Science and Technology and its Rule and Nation Building. Science and technology has made life a lot simple and also a lot healthier with the advancement of medicines and research and diseases. The role that science and technology has played on improving the life condition around the globe is vivid, but the grain has to be harvested maximum by all countries. Before we proceed to our formal discussion, let us have first a short recap about our previous topic. It is a field of history that examines how is understanding of the natural world. Here, the ability to manipulate have changed over millennia and centuries. One can conclude that people in ancient times were able to discover and invent things that would impact the lives of the modern people. Okay, enough of that. Let us move on to our objectives. At the end of this lesson, the students will be able to first discuss the rule of science and technology and Philippines nation building. Second, hasten their knowledge concerning science and technology and society. Lastly, participate the discussion pertaining science and technology and society. So this is our conceptual framework. Science and technology define with two major fields of science, natural sciences and social sciences. Next, important of science and technology in terms of our daily lives, education, economics. Next, the impact of technology and society with positive and negative one. Last, the rule of science and technology in nation building. So the brief historical rule of science and technology in the Philippines, pre-Spanish, during Spanish-American period. May I call on Ms. Navarro to discuss about what is science and technology. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Glamorose B. Navarro, and I will be discussing the science and technology. Thank you so much, Ms. Aziz. And now, let us discuss about science and technology. But first, let us discuss about what is science. Science comes from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. Science is a branch or a system of knowledge that deals with facts and truths. It is defined as the observation, identification, description, experimental investigation, and theoretical explanation of natural phenomena. In more contemporary terms, science is a system of acquiring knowledge based on the scientific process or method to organize a body of knowledge gained through research. Science is a continuing effort to discover and increase knowledge through research. Scientists make observations, record measurable data, related to their observ observations and analyze the information at hand to construct theoretical explanations of the phenomenon involved. There are two major fields of science. First is the natural science. Natural science seeks to understand how the world and the universe around us works. Hence, social sciences is a branch of science devoted to the study of societies and the relationship among individuals within those societies. On the other hand, technology comes from the Greek word technologia, which means systematic treatment or science of craft. It is an art, skill, or ability which is used to acquire knowledge, create and develop products that are useful in accomplishing the task in daily life. 
It involves application of science to solve a problem, the application of engineering, and applied science to solve practical problems of human life. Products like computers and cell phones are used for communication and securing data, equipment and machinery to produce food, goods, and other products. Thus, vans, buses, LRT, and MRT for transportation, and the like. Now, both science and technology have a great help to humans. Scientists use their knowledge to develop technology and then use technology to develop science. So, because of this reason, science and technology are an integrated term in today's world. So that's it for the definition of science and technology. Now, um, may I give the floor to Mary Angel Pineda to discuss the importance of science and technology. Hello everyone, my name is Mary Justine Penada and today I am going to explain the importance of technology and science. Technology can make any family or business feel safer. There are many security devices and software available to secure your financial data, protect your home when you are far away and in every area in life, both personal and business reasons. In other words, technology it is a skills and ability to create and develop products and acquire knowledge. Well, science is the most important channels of knowledge as well as a variety of functions for the benefits of our society. Creating new knowledge, improving education, and increasing the quality of lives. Through science, we can easily get information and gather data. So they are education, economics, and daily lives. For education, engaging young students with exciting materials and experience motivates them to learn and pursue the sciences throughout school. Teaching technological literacy, critical thinking, and problem solving through science education gives students the skills and knowledge they need to success in school and beyond. For example, in a classroom, I am the teacher. I will use the technology of computer and projector for easy access to my student, while my student will also um, easy to report when it comes to reporting. They don't need to use manila paper and so on. While in science, um, as a teacher, um, if your course is um, a doctor, then I will teach you how to prevent or how to cure the disease or give a therapy to the patients. Well, in economics, science and technology and innovation have long been important to drivers of economic growth and human development to ensure that even during phases of economic slowdown, science and technology continue to support the objectives of sustainability and improve living standards in all countries. So you can see some of the agriculture uses technology like mechanical devices or machine for them to make easy and fastest output of products they could not feel difficulties well in science um, they uh, give systematic analysis and gather informations to make it fast since it is innovations lastly our daily lives all objects around us in our daily lives are products of different technological advances that we have developed over the centuries of our existence we have transformed natural resources to make tools and make machines that make our lives more easy and satisfy our curiosity and desire to excel Nation without technology and science is definitely a backward nation. Such nation will be considered undeveloped because technology and science is associated with modernity and it is an essential tool for rapid development. That's it. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Dailin Ganchao. Today, I am going to discuss about the impact of technology on society. The impact of technology has pros and cons. And now, let's discuss first about the pros or positive. First, improve quality of life. Technology helps us especially in the development in order for us to have a quality of life. Just like our healthy living, especially in the hospitals, there is an advanced technology we can use in the surgical rooms. Second, economic growth. Technology helps society in our economy in terms of the production of goods and services. It increases the capital good and labor force. It also improves the resources for education, government finance, and health services. Third, positive. Rapid and back good services. Production of goods and became faster and easier, especially in exporting and supplying amount of product. And it is because of the use of technology. Fourth, better transportation. During the old days, animals were the only forms of transportation. But through technology, bicycles, motorbikes, and cars for land transportation were created. And it helps our society to easily transport from one place to another. Faster communication. Because of technology, we can now send directly an important message to our relative or colleagues through using SMS, email, or messenger. There is a positive, then there is also a negative. First negative, pollution of the life support system. Technology gives negative impact to our society as it polluted our environment because of factories, vehicles, and fossil fuels. The second negative impact of technology in our society is depletion of natural resources. This mainly occurs as a result of agriculture, mining, water usage, and consumption of fossil fuels, all of which had been enabled because of the advancement of technology. So good morning everyone, my name is Erika Emansilagan and for the continuation of our topic and report, I am going to discuss the role of SDS in nation building. Nation building is a normative concept that means different things to different people. It generally assumes that someone or something is doing the building intentionally. Many people believe that nation building is evolutionary rather than revolutionary. That takes a long time and is a social process that can be jump started from the outside. So science and technology has been one of the main driving forces of the economic growth of nations. Meaning science and technology has the role of helping the economic growth of nations in order for the nations to build and prosper. Science and technological based innovations has been used for the detriment of mankind, pursued for either wealth and power or both. Most developed countries have generated new technologies with potential to result in dynamic economic performance. My name is Rafi Salarda and in continuation with the topic of what is the role of science in its nation building. Today is let's discuss or has a brief historic background regarding the role of science and technology in the Philippines during the pre-Spanish period, Spanish colonial period and American period. So let's have this um, pre-Spanish period. Even before um, the colonization by the Spaniards in the Philippines island, um, the native of the archipelago already had um, practices linked to science and technology. Filipinos were already aware of um, the methods of extracting medicine from herbs and they already had an alphabet, number system, a weighing and measuring system, and even a calendar. So during this embedded way of life in the pre-Spanish before, the science fo focuses during this time on planting crops that provide them food, including the taking care of animals, food production, and interact with the movement of heavenly bodies to predict season and climates, including the uh, medicinal uses of 
plants. And the technology this um, during this pre-Spanish period is they building um, houses, irrigation, and developing tools, including the musical instrument. So how about the Spanish colonial period? Um, the rule of science and technology this time is they brought their own culture and practices here in the Philippines and established schools and introduced the concept of subjects and disciplines. And the technology focuses on using and developing house and tools, including the learning of science um, in schools, um, especially focuses on understanding the different concepts related to the human body, plants, and animals, and bodies and the life of the filipino during spanish era became modernized wherein the filipino replicated technology brought by spaniards using indigenous materials and medicine and advanced science were introduced formally to college and universities the galleon trade with valuable con commodities boomed during this time also wherein from 15 to 16 1565 to 1815, the trade contributes the change of culture, language, and environment of Philippines and Mexico. The country became one of the center of global trade in NC until um, the superstitious beliefs and Catholic doctrine and practices halted the growth of science in the country. So during the American period, more influences in the development of science and technology. The public education system improved engineering works and health, um, explore and exploited of minerals. So the health and sanitation during American period, um, wherein the Filipino learned to value cleanliness, proper hygiene, and healthy practices. And during this time, the hospitals, clinics, and health centers were established, including public hospital for Lipens. Infrastructure during this American period also focuses to build roads, streets, and bridges, and other more. And during this World War II, the country had a difficult time to rebuild itself from the ruin of the war. However, the human spirit to survive during this time and to rebuild the country may be strong, but the capacity of the country to bring back what is destroyed was limited. You know, it's, let's go to the glossary of the topic. When we say science, it is a systematic study of structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Second, when we say technology, it is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. Third is the true branches of science, which is the natural sciences and social sciences. When we say natural sciences, it seeks to understand how the world and the universe around us work. And there are five major branches of natural sciences, which is the chemistry, astronomy, earth, science, physics, and biology. Second, yes, social sciences refers to the branch of science devoted to the study of scientists and the relationship among individuals within the society. Next is society. When we say society, it is a group of individuals involved in persistent social interaction or a large social group sharing the same spatial. Um, so last is ecological. So in ecological, um, the patterns of relationships between living things and their environment and the last one is depletion. This is refers to the reduction of the number of quantity of something.